Oh, okay, now here we are with uh, permutations with cases. Um, you'll find, we'll talk about cases in a second. When you find yourself using the word or, uh, then you're probably in the, the land where you're going to be using cases, okay? And so the, the key here is when you find yourself using the English word or, it's likely a case, and you're probably going to be adding. Okay, so I just want to sort of link those three idea, uh, three things together. That cases are for when you're doing this or that, and then you end up adding instead of multiplying. And we'll see some examples right away. Every example we've seen so far is a permutation with one case. But sometimes it's impossible to summarize all possible permutations into a single equation or a single expression. If you cannot summarize a situation, you must break that situation into distinct cases and then add the resulting permutations for each case. So here's our first example. We have these letters. Uh, let me count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven letters altogether. Um, they're to be arranged in a row, but the arrangement must begin and end with both constant consonants. So those are our consonants. So we have here four consonants and and both vowels and so we have three vowels okay so first let's consider here if the arrangement must begin and end with both consonants or both vowels so see what i'm meaning here so when you see when you see the word or in there or when you have to mentally think oh it's going to be this or that you're, it's probably a situation where you're going to use cases and then you add the, each of the cases together. So the two, the two different possibilities, the two cases, is either gonna, they're both going to start and end with consonants or they're both going to begin and end with vowels. So we're going to have uh, seven spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so on this first one here, we're going to have to begin and end with consonants there are four consonants. So here, if I place one here, there are four different ways to place one of them. Now there are only three consonants left, so at the end, now there are three. Okay. Now at this point, uh, there were seven letters altogether. I've placed two of them, so there's now five letters remaining. In the middle, I can put consonants or vowels. I can put anything. So I'm just looking at my five there, and I can say, oh, it's going to be five four, three, two, and one at the end. In fact, I could just, at the very end, I'm placing five things. So I can also just shortcut that and say five factorial. So I can say, or, this is the same thing as thinking four times three times five factorial. And when I do the math, I think I get at 1,440. So case one, I get 1,440 ways to arrange these letters if I start and end with consonants. Now let's do it again, but now we're going to do uh, with vowels. So when I do this with vowels, again I have seven spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have three vowels, so I'm going to have to start with a vowel here, and there are three ways to place one of my three vowels. And at the end, there are now only two vowels left, so when I place one of those, there are two different ways to do it. Now again, I have five letters left over. I've placed two of them. In this case, I, pl I placed vowels, not consonants. So I have five left. So now I go five times four times three times two times one. So it's very similar. Instead of four times three times five factorial, now it's going to be three times two times five factorial. And since uh, five factorial is 120, six times 120 is 720. So in sum, there will be uh, 1440 plus 720, which gives me 2160 possible permutations. Okay, so if I were to do this question, I'd think, oh, well, I can't do this all in one expression. I have to do two different expressions and say, well, it could either turn out this way or it could could turn out that way. And so that as a result, I'm adding these two numbers. I'm not multiplying, I'm adding them. I think I made my 7 disappear. There we go. Okay.